Good evening, I'm weather forecaster Rachel Scherfe. We're seeing mild temperatures outside right now, 73 degrees in Muncie, 77 in Indianapolis, 79 down in Bloomington, and these mild temperatures are going to last throughout the night. We'll be seeing an overnight low of 65 degrees tomorrow. Cloudy conditions and southerly winds are going to help keep that temperature warm. Now these southerly winds are going to start to increase tomorrow overnight, 25 degrees sustained, gusting up to 40 at some points during the night. So the National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued a wind advisory starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow, lasting until 8 p.m. Now we have chances of seeing sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour and gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So go ahead and bring in your outdoor furniture so it's nice and secure for tomorrow. And we take a look at what's going on outside right now. We can see clouds start to build over our area. But if we take a zoomed out look, we can see again this cold front moving through and it's starting to spark a few showers in Iowa, Illinois and Missouri. Now these showers are going to start to form a line and move into our area tomorrow. In preparation for those storms moving through, the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced risk for our region and for much of the Ohio Valley. Now an enhanced risk is a level three out of five. So what are our main threats for that? We're going to be seeing damaging winds as our primary threat tomorrow, but we do have the chances of seeing a few tornadoes, hail and heavy rainfall. Now there is a lot of uncertainty moving with this storm, but what do we know? We know that again, all threats are possible. Damaging wind, hail, tornadoes, and some flooding are all possible tomorrow. We do have that cold front moving through Indiana. This is what's going to be sparking those storms. That's going to be the catalyst for them moving through. And we know the timing is going to be the midday through the evening. Now, all of the weather is dependent on that cold front tomorrow. If the cold front's moving faster, we could just see a line of storms, which would lower our threat for those individual hazards. But if the cold front does move a little bit slower, we could see some isolated storms popping up in front of that cold front which could increase the likelihood of seeing some of those hazards. Let's go ahead and time this out for you on Precision Cast. Right around 6 p.m., we're gonna be seeing the heaviest of the day in Muncie. You can see these pockets of just heavy rainfall. These pinks are showing either very heavy rainfall or some hail. Again, that hail is possible tomorrow, but around 11 p.m., it will be moving out of our area and we'll be left with a calm night. Let's go ahead and recap the week. We'll be seeing a high temperature of 70 degrees tomorrow. Again, that chance of severe weather. After the cold front moves through, 40 degrees for our overnight low. It'll drop 30 degrees tomorrow, so make sure you are prepared for that. Thursday and Friday are going to work on rebuilding that temperature as they stay in the 50s. Saturday will finally break 60 again, but take a look at the sunshine. Once we make it through the stormy day tomorrow, we'll be seeing recovering sunshine throughout the week, as well as temperatures starting to increase. Thank you for tuning into Newslink Indiana. You can follow us on Twitter at NLI Weather for more updates.